بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد In this lesson we're going to cover الدرس الرابع والعشرون The 24th lesson This is a lesson where the author is going to speak about العدد The number The rules related to the عدد As well as the معدود The thing that's been counted So he's going to mention all of the rules that we've taken so far in book 1 As well as book 2 Related to the عدد and معدود and on top of that, he's going to mention rules that we have not yet taken. So it's important that we pay attention and we focus because this lesson is very long and it's also challenging. If we don't focus, we might not fully understand the lesson. To make it easier for us, the author, he has divided the lesson into sections. So we're going to cover this lesson by going over small sections at a time. So the first section is related to 1 and 2, the numbers 1 and 2. With 1 and 2, there's three rules that we have to bear in mind. Rule number 1 is that both 1 and 2 will agree with the ma'dud in gender. It matches the ma'dud in gender. That's rule number 1. So if the ma'dud is mudhakkar, the number is mudhakkar. If the ma'dud is mu'annath, the number is mu'annath. With wahidun, to make it mu'annath, we add ta marbuta. With ithnani, we have to add a ta after the noon, and it becomes mu'annath. So that's rule number one. It matches in gender. Rule number two is the adad, the number, comes after the ma'dud. The wahid and the ithnan, they come after the ma'dud. So the ma'dud comes first. So if I wanted to say, for example, the price of the book is one dollar, I would say thamanul kitabi, the price of the book, dolarun wahidun. Dolarun wahidun. I don't say it like uh, we would say it in English. One dollar and say wahidun dolarun. We don't say wahidun dolarun, one dollar. We have to say dolarun wahidun, dolarani thnani. If it was rupees, rubiyatun wahidatun, rubiyatani thnatani. Tayyib, so that's the second rule. The adad comes after the ma'dud. The number comes after the thing that's been counted. The third rule relates to the i'rab of the numbers. So with the ma'dud coming first, this is going to vary. The i'rab varies depending on the sentence. So it can come as fa'il. It can come as man maf'ulun bihi mansub, majroor. This varies. This is going to play a role in the sentence. And the adad, this one and two, is going to come as na'at. So it follows the ma'dud in the four things that we mentioned regarding the na'at man'ut in book one. In gender, in number, in i'rab, and in being definite or indefinite. Tayyib. So it's the ma'dud that plays a role in the sentence. So it's i'rab varies. And then the numbers 1 and 2 just follow on just like na'at. So the rub for the one, 1 and 2 is that it coming as na'at for the ma'dud. So wahidun changes wahidun wahidin wahidan. Wahidatun wahidatin wahidatan. As for ithnan and ithnatan, then they change the same way as the muthanna changes, the jewel noun. We have alif to show that it's marfu' Ithnani, ithnatani, marfu' When it's majroor and mansub, this alif changes into a ya. So it becomes ithnaini, ithnataini. Ithnaini and ithnataini. So if it was majroor, we would say talibain ithnaini. If it was mansub, we would say talibain ithnaini. Tayyib, bear that in mind. Tayyib, so we've covered the numbers 1 and 2 in the first section. And we mentioned there's three rules relating to these two numbers. Rule number 1, it matches the ma'dud in gender. Rule number two, it comes after the ma'dud. Rule number three, it comes as na'at. The second section, the author speaks about the numbers three to ten. With the numbers three to ten, also there are three rules. There are three rules. The first rule is the numbers three to ten, they are going to oppose the thing you're counting in gender. They oppose. So if the thing you're counting is mudhakkar, the numbers are going to be mu'annath. And to make them mu'annath, we add ta marbuta. This is how we make them mu'annath. And if the thing we're counting is mu'annath, the numbers oppose, they're going to be mudhakkar. And to make them mudhakkar, we remove the term marbuta. So that's rule number one. The number three to ten, they oppose the thing you're counting in gender. Rule number two is the numbers are going to come first now. And they are the ones that are going to play a role in the sentence. So the i'rabs change. Thalathatu, thalathata, thalathati. They play a role in the sentence. And at the same time, they are going to be mudaf. That's rule number two. Rule number three 
the ma'dud, the thing that's been counted, is going to come after, is going to come after it, and it's going to come as mudaf ilayhi. Mudaf ilayhi is always majroor, and we use the plural form. The ma'dud come in the plural forms. Tayyib. So just to repeat the rules again, the numbers 3 to 10 are going to oppose the ma'dud in gender. That's rule number one. Rule number two, the numbers, they come first. They are going to play a role in the sentence, meaning the Arab changes depending on their position in the sentence. And they are always going to be mudaf. That's rule number two. Rule number three, the ma'dud comes after it and it's always going to be mudaf ilayhi to the number. Mudaf ilayhi. And we use the plural forms. Tayyib, now that we've understood that, it's important that we mention some notes. Note number one is with regards to determining the gender of the ma'dud. So here we need to determine the gender so that the number opposes, right? How do we determine the gender? To determine the gender, we have to go to the mufrad, the singular form of the words. That's where we determine the gender. So we're not going to say, for example, thalathatu kutubin. We don't say kutub is jam ghair aqil, therefore we treat it as one feminine. We don't do that here. That rule does not apply. Here to determine the gender, we go back to the mufrad. So kutub, its mufrad is kitab. It is mudhakkar. So the number is going to be mu'annath. That's how we determine the gender. We have to go back to the mufrad. Secondly, the number asharatun and ashru. We see sometimes the sheen has a fatha and sometimes the sheen has a sukun. When do we give it a fatha? When do we give it a sukun? We need to memorize this rule that I'm going to mention. It's going to help you. It takes a fatha. The sheen takes a fatha if the thing that we're counting is mudhakkar. Whenever the thing we're counting is mudhakkar, the sheen has a fatha. Whenever the thing we're counting is mu'annath, the sheen has a sukun. That's the second note. The third note is we saw during some of the lessons the numbers 3 to 10 coming after the ma'dud. It didn't come before, it came after. What we've just mentioned is it coming before. So when it comes before, this is counting. But if it comes after, then we've made the numbers as na'at for the ma'dud. If the numbers come after, then they are coming as na'at. And they will be the same as this. It will take the same rule. So they're going to match in those four things. They're going to match in those four things, which are gender, number, i'rab, definite and indefinite. Except here you have two options. You can make it mudhakkar or mu'annath. The numbers, you can make it mudhakkar or mu'annath. So you can say, for example, tullabun thalatha. I can say tullabun thalathatun with the tamar buta there to make it uh, correspond to the rules of the numbers because from 3 to 10, it has to oppose. So the thing, you count, the thing you're describing is mudhakkar, so you say thalathatun. You have that option of applying the rule of the numbers disagreeing in gender with the thing you're counting or you have the rule of uh, making it match in gender so tullabun thalathun so both mudhakkar why because na'at and man'ut they match in gender so when these numbers come as uh, they come after the ma'dud they come as na'at and you have two options you can make it mudhakkar or mu'annath طيب. that's the second section the third section is from 11 to 19. 11 to 19. There are four rules. There are four rules that we have to apply. Rule number one is that we need to firstly bear in mind that these numbers are made up of two parts. They are a compound made up of two parts. So rule number one says both parts are going to be mabni on fatah. All the way to 19, both parts and so on. Both parts are going to be mabni on fatha with one exception. The exception is the two in twelve. The two in twelve. Ithna and ithnata. The number two in twelve. This the first part is not mabni. It can change. We can say ithna if it's marfu, ithnata if it's marfu, or ithne or ithnate when it's majur or mansub. Tayyib. So rule number one says. The numbers 11 to 19 are made up of two parts. Both parts are going to be mabni, mabni on fatah, except for 2 in 12. Yeah, it's mu'rab. That's rule number one, mabni. Rule number two relates to 11 and 12 specifically. 11 and 12 specifically, the rule is both parts, the units and the tens, are going to match the thing you're counting in gender. 
That's why he's put two ticks. Two ticks here because the unit and the ten, both parts match the thing you're counting in gender. So we have ahada, ashara, that's mudhakkar because the thing we're counting is mudhakkar. Ihda, we don't use wahidatun. Here we used wahidun and wahidatun. Here we use ahada and ihda. And here we have ithna and ithnata without the noon. We don't say ithnani, ithnatani. We have ithna and ithnata. It's important to bear that in mind. So both parts are going to match the thing we're counting in gender. Mudhakkar, mudhakkar, mudhakkar. Mu'annath, mu'annath, mu'annath. And the same for the two. That's why he has two ticks. Because both parts both parts match in gender. And remember that rule that we mentioned regarding the sheen, the sukun and the fatha on the sheen. When does he have a fatha? If the thing we're counting is mudhakkar. And if the thing we're counting is mu'annath, the sheen has a sukun. So rule number two is both parts of 11 and 12 match with the thing you're counting in gender. Rule number three is regarding 13 to 19. 13 to 19 specifically. 13 to 19, the first part, that's why he's put across, is going to oppose in gender. Oppose the thing you're counting in gender. Whereas the second part, the tens, is going to match. So the thing we're counting is mudhakkar. This is going to be mu'annath. This is going to be mudhakkar. Mu'annath, mudhakkar, mudhakkar. Mudhakkar, mu'annath, mu'annath. Tayyib. And likewise, the same thing. To make them mu'annath, we add tamar buta. To make them mudhakkar, we remove the tamar buta. And then the final rule, the fourth rule, is the numbers starting from 11. The numbers starting from 11 all the way to 99. All the way to 99. With regards to the thing that's been counted, then it comes as an indefinite singular mansub noun. Nakira, Mufrad, Mansub. Nakira, Mufrad, Mansub. That's why all of them are Nakira, Mufrad, Mansub, or from 11. Nakira, Mufrad, Mansub, Nakira, Mufrad, Mansub, all the way to 99. That rule applies all the way to 99. So just to recap once again, the second section is related to 11 to 19. 11 to 19, we mentioned there's four rules. Rule number one is that these numbers, 11 to 19, they're made up of two parts. Both parts are going to be mabni on fatha, except for two, the two in 12. That's not mabni, that's mu'rab. Rule number two relates to 11 and 12 specifically. We said both parts match the thing you're counting in gender. Rule number three relates to 13 to 19 specifically. We said the first part opposes. The second part matches. The tens match, the units oppose. Just as the rules for 3 to 9. Remember 3 to 9, it's important that we know that 3 to 9, wherever they are, whether they are by themselves or they are part of a bigger number, a compound, or they are ma'atuf, or they are, wherever they are, they're going to oppose. They're going to oppose the thing you're counting in gender. The fourth and final rule relates to the ma'dud. The ma'dud is going to be Nakira, Mufrad, Mansub. From 11 all the way to 99. طيب. Then, the third section, or is it the fourth section? Yeah, fourth section relates to the Al-Fadh Al-Uqud. Al-Fadh Al-Uqud. Ishroon, which is 20. Thalathoon, 30. Arba'oon, where is Arba'oon? Arba'oon, 40, Khamsoon, 50, Sittoon, 60, Sab'oon, 70, Thamanoon, 80, Tis'oon, 90. So there's eight of them. Ishroon, Thalathoon, Arba'oon, Khamsoon, Sittoon, Sab'oon, Thamanoon, Tis'oon. Eight uh, words. These words are known as Al-Fadh Al-Uqud. Al-Fadh Al-Uqud. What's so special about them? Firstly, the rules for them is that you can use the same number for both mudhakkar and mu'annath ma'dud. So the gender is not affected, it's unisex. You can use the same one for both mudhakkar and uh, mu'annath ma'dud. That's rule number one. The second rule that we need to bear in mind is that they have the same i'rab as the jam mudhakkar salim. So when these are marfu' we have waw, thamanun, thamanun, arba'un. When they are majur or mansub, the wow changes into a ya. So it becomes arba'een, khamsin, sittin, sab'een, thamaneen, tis'een. Tayyib. 
As for the ma'dud, we don't need to repeat the rule, yeah? Because from 11 all the way to 99, that rule applies. That it's going to be mufrad, nakira, mansub. So that's al-fadhul uqud. Tayyib. Now the numbers between the al-fadhul uqud. So al-fadhul uqud is specifically 20, 30, 40, 50. These numbers specifically. How about the numbers in between? 21, 22, 23, 31, 32, 33, 91, 92, 93. These numbers. What about them? This is the fifth section. The fifth section is regards to these numbers. These numbers, they come in two parts. We mentioned the units first, the units, and the units are what play a role in the sentence. So the Arab changes. It could be wahidun, wahidin, wahidan, ithnani, ithnaini, thalathatun, thalathatin, thalathatan. With ithnani, the same thing that we mentioned before. It changes with alif or, or ya. But the rest of them, they change with dhammatain, kasratain, fathatain. So this was going to play a role in the sentence, the i'rab. Then we have a waw, which is a harf atf. Then this is going to be ma'tuf to the ishroon or thalathoon or arba'oon or khamsoon or sitoon or tis'oon. Tayyib. So we have, it's made up of atf. It's going to be having a, a letter of conjunction between the two, connecting the two. So if this is marfu', we're going to have wow, ishroon, thalathoon, wahidun, ishroon. If it's other than raf, if it's mansub or majur, then it's going to be ishreen. Wahidin, ishreen, wahidan, ishreen. Tayyib. That's the first thing that we need to bear in mind. The second thing is, likewise, these numbers with 21 and 22, with 31 and 32, 41 and 42, 51 and 52, 61 and 62, 71 and 72, 81 and 82, 91 and 92, specifically, both parts match with the ma'dud in gender we don't really need to mention both parts because the second part the thalathun aishirun is not really affected by gender but just to make it easy we can say it matches with the thing that you're counting in gender wahidun mudhakkar mudhakkar mu'annath 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 mudhakkar mudhakkar mu'annath mu'annath but from three to nine they oppose in gender this Three, remember three to nine always, wherever it is, it's going to oppose the thing you're counting in gender. So likewise, in these numbers, from 33 to 39, uh, 23 to 29, 43 to 49, all the way to 93 to 99, three to nine always opposes the thing you're counting in gender. Whereas one and two is always going to match the thing you're counting in gender. So that's the rules for... The al-fadl uqud and the numbers in between that all the way to 99. So we've covered all the way to 99. Now we move on to 100. With 100 and alf specifically, 100 and alf, these two numbers, they share the same rule. Mia and alf, likewise, they are not affected by gender. You use the same word for both mudhakkar and mu'annath ma'dud. Mia talibin, mia talibatin. It's the same. We don't change. We don't take the tamarbuta off. It's going to be the same word for both mudhakkar and mu'annath, and the same with alf. Okay, so alf and mi'ah, they are mentioned first, and then they are going to play a role in the sentence. The mi'ah and the alf is going to play a role in the sentence, so the i'rab changes. Dhamma, kasra, fatha. And it's always going to be mudaf. It's going to be mudaf, and then the ma'dud comes after it, and it's going to be mudaf ilayhi. It's going to be mudaf ilayhi. This is similar to... 3 to 9. But the difference is, with the ma'dud here, it comes as plural form. Plural form, mudaf ilayhi, but plural form. Here, with mi'a and uh, 1000, it comes as mudaf ilayhi, but singular form. Singular form. Talibin, mi'atu talibin. It doesn't say mi'atu tullabin. We say talibin, talibatin. With mi'a and alf, and all the numbers in between that, and its multiplications. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 900, 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, all the thousands and all the hundreds, the same rule applies. The same rule applies. If the ma'dud is mentioned straight after a hundred or its multiplications or a thousand and its multiplications, we apply the same rule. The mi'a and the thousand plays a role in the sentence. Its i'rab varies. It's going to come as mudaf. The gender does not uh, play a role uh, in, 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 in affect it. Then the ma'dud comes as mudaf ilayhi. 
is going to be in the singular form. Singular form. So that's why you have mi'atu talibin, mi'atu talibatin. If it was inna, imagine we had inna, it would be inna mi'ata talibin. Inna mi'ata talibatin. Fi mi'ati talibin. Fi mi'ati talibatin. And the same with alf. He hasn't mentioned alf here because it's going in order. But we've mentioned it together because their rules are exactly the same. Alf is here. Tayyib. So that's 100 and 1000. What if it was 200 and 2000? If it was 200 and 2000, firstly, to make mi'ah muthanna, we'd say mi'atani. Mi'atani and alf becomes alfani. Alfani. Okay, so the same rules apply. So the thing that's being counted comes after and is going to come as mudaf ilayhi. And it's going to be in the singular form. So talibin. Talibin. And you can also say talibatin because the gender doesn't really matter. So it's mudaf ilayhi majurur. Mudaf ilayhi majur. Okay, so this is muthanna. Muthanna means there's an alif to show it's marfu and this alif changes to ya if it's majur or mansub so it will be mi'atay mi'ataini mi'ataini and alfaini right okay there's a rule regarding muthanna which we have not mentioned we're going to mention it now we're going to mention it now if you highlight this rule it's going to help you immensely inshallah and that rule is we need to make muthanna mudaf to this word, right? It's going to create mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Whenever you have idafa involving a muthanna, the mudaf is muthanna, muthanna. Just like in the mufrad, we remove the tanween, right? When you have um, baytu muhammadin, you can't say baytun muhammadin. You have to remove the tanween, that noon sakin at the end. Likewise with the muthanna, we have to remove the noon to make it mudaf. Whenever the muthanna is made mudaf, the noon is removed. That's why we have mi'ata talibin, alfa talibin. And this rule also applies to jam mudhakkar salim. The jam mudhakkar salim also muslimuna, if you are going to say the Muslims of Iraq, you would say muslimu al-Iraq, muslimu al-Iraq. You remove the noon. Because this noon is equivalent to the tanween in the mufrad. The noon in the muthanna and jam mudhakkar salim is similar to to the tanween in the mufrad. So that's why it's removed when you do idafa, when you make it mudaf. Tayyib. So, mi'ata talibin or mi'ata talibatin. Alfa talibin or alfa talibatin. That's in the case where it's marfu'. If it was majuri, it would be mi'atay talibin. Mi'atay talibatin. Alfay talibin. Alfay talibatin. Before we continue, actually, it's important that we note that when you're writing the numbers numerically, you write them from left to right. So this is 101, 102, 103. Just like English. With numbers, you write them from left to right. But in terms of reading the numbers, you have different options. There's different options. You can read it this way. You can read it that way. You can mix and match and so on. But whatever you choose, it's better to choose one, one system and stick to that system. It makes it easier. Me personally, I think it's easier to read from right to left. So with the author here, you see that it's kind of confusing because he uses one system and then he uses a different system. So it kind of confuses the student. So here, look, for example, he he is reading it this way. Mi'atu, he started with mi'a, so he's reading it this way. Mi'atu talibin. So he's applied the rules of mi'a here. It's mudaf mudaf ilayhi. This is the singular form. And then he's doing atf. He's doing atf of the units. So 101. I think it would have been easier to say mi'atu talibin wa wahidun. Mi'atu talibin wa wahidun. Just to make us get accustomed to the numbers rather than mentioning talibun. Mi'atu talibatin wa wahidatun. And mi'atu talibin wa thnani. Mi'atu talibatin wa thnatani. It would have been easier. And it would have been easier also if he applied the same method for the rest of them. Instead of changing it. Look, now he changes it. He said mi'atun He's changed it up. He could have continued with that same layout and said, Mi'atu talibin. Mi'atu talibin wa thalathatun. He should have just stuck to that same method. But the point, maybe he's trying to demonstrate to us that you're allowed more than one option. But either way, look how the units, the units one and two, wherever they are, they're going to match the ma'adud in gender. So here, look. 
The ma'dud is mudhakkar, so this is mudhakkar. Mudhakkar, mudhakkar. Mu'annath, 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 mu'annath. But with three to nine, it always opposes. With three to nine, it always opposes. So that's why we have thalathatu is uh, mu'annath. The thing we're counting is mudhakkar. And the here is the opposite. But what I'm trying to say is that if he used the same system, it would have been easier. It would, it would have been easier for him to say, Mi'atu talibin wa thalathatun. Mi'atu talibin wa arba'atun. Mi'atu talibin wa khamsatun. Mi'atu talibat, mi'atu talibin wa sittatun. And the same here. Mi'atu talibatin wa thalathu. Mi'atu talibatin wa arba'u. Mi'atu talibatin wa khamsu. So, my my way of reading, the way I find easier, is to read from right to left. If we were to read from right to left, we'd, we'd mention the units first. And then we have to mention mention them, bearing in mind the rules. With one and two, it matches. With three to nine, it's going to oppose. So, we'd say, Wahidun wa mi'atu talibin. Ithnani wa mi'atu talibin. Thalathatun wa mi'atu talibin. Arba'atun. وَمِئَةُ طَالِبٍ خَمْسَةٌ وَمِئَةُ طَالِبٍ If it was feminine, we'd say وَاحِدَةٌ وَمِئَةُ طَالِبَةٍ إِثْنَتَانِ وَمِئَةُ طَالِبَةٍ ثَلَاثٌ وَمِئَةُ طَالِبَةٍ أَرْبَعٌ وَمِئَةُ طَالِبَةٍ خَمْسٌ وَمِئَةُ طَالِبَةٍ سِتٌ وَمِئَةُ طَالِبَةٍ وَمَا سَيْنْ طَالِبَةٍ Because I'm mentioning after مئة The Ma'dud, if it comes at the end, what determines how it's going to be, which rule you apply, is the number before it. So here, look, with here, he's mentioned, um, he's using the plural form. Why is he using the plural form, even though mi'a is included? It's because this is the number that's going to determine how this one is. And the rule for this one, the rule for three with the ma'dud is that you use the plural form. You use the plural form if it's three to nine. But if it was mi'a or alf, directly before the ma'dud, it's going to be the singular form. Which is why I'm saying it's easier if you adopt one system throughout. One system throughout is easier. So if you read it this way, it would have been much easier. And you apply the same system, it's easier for the student to understand. So if it was to read 109 students, we'd say, Tis'atun wa mi'atu talibin. Singular form, because mi'a was mentioned before it. Tis'un وَمِئَةُ طَالِبَةٍ Singular, not طَالِبَةٍ He's mentioned طَالِبَةٍ because تِسْعَ He mentioned the units here before it. طيب, so that's the point. And then when we get to uh, 11, it becomes مَبْنِي We'd say أَحَدَ عَشَرَ or إِحْدَ عَشْرَةَ أَحَدَ عَشَرَ or إِحْدَ عَشْرَةَ إِثْنَا عَشَرَ or إِثْنَتَ عَشْرَةَ And then from 13, it opposes. The 10 matches. The same rules that we've learned applies with the rest of the numbers but the ma'dud remember that the rule of the ma'dud depends on the number that's directly before it whatever comes before it if it's mi'a if it's alf if it's talathu if it's that's what's going to determine how this ends how this ends طيب. so for example if you wanted to say um mi'atun wa ishroon that's 120 we could say wa wa mi'a or you can say Mi'atun wa ishroon. If we said Mi'atun wa ishroon, how is the ma'dud going to be? It's going to come like this. Because ishroon from 11 to 99, the thing that you're counting has to come as nakira mufrad mansub. So Mi'atun wa ishroon talibatan o taliban. But if we said ishroon wa mi'atu talibin, you see, you have to apply different rules depending on the number that comes before it. So here, 111. He said, Mi'atun wa ahada ashara taliban. Why taliban? Because ahada ashara came before it. So this is what determines how this number is read or this ma'dud is read. So 11 to 99 is nakira mufrad mansub. But if it was the opposite, he said, Ahada ashara wa mi'atu talibin. Mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Tayyib. So we've covered mi'atani. Mi'atani is 200. If you make it mudaf mudaf if you mention the ma'dud, it becomes mudaf mudaf ilayhi. For muthanna, the noon is omitted. So, mi'ata talibin, 200 students of talibatin. Okay. With 300 to 900, 300, 400, 500, 
to 900 what happens is I think I need to write this down we're counting mia right mia mia ton what happens is with 3 to 9 the general rule is what it opposes the thing you're counting in gender this is muannath so we make this mudakkar so we say thalathu thalathu and this is supposed to be the plural form right thalathu kutubin mudaf mudaf ilayhi it's supposed to be in the plural form but here there's some exceptions that's going to happen the first exception is that this is not going to be in the plural form this is going to remain in the singular form like how it is now the second exception is we're not going to write it separately we're going to write it together so it becomes like this thalathu so this is two separate words written together it becomes mudaf mudaf ilayhi thalathu mi'atin two exceptions what's the first exception we didn't pluralize this even though it's coming as the ma'dud for the numbers 3 to 9 Second exception is we didn't write it separately. We've written it together. So this mudaf mudaf ilayhi is looks like one word, but it's actually two separate words. It's written together. So that's how we have all of them without the ta marbuta. Why do we have all of the numbers without ta marbuta? Because we're counting mi'a. And mi'a is mu'annath, so we have to make it mudhakkar. So thalathu mi'atin, arba'u mi'atin, khamsu mi'atin, sab'u mi'atin, sab until the end, tis'u mi'atin. Okay. So what plays a role in the sentence is the thalathu, the khamsu, sabu, that's what changes. It can be thalatha mi'atin, thalathi mi'atin. So this is a unique word. It's mudaf mudaf ilayhi, but it's written together. So the i'rab is going to affect the the tha here. Thalathu, thalatha, thalathi. Tayyib. The reason why we're saying thalathu mi'ati is because this now is mudaf to this. Remember we said 100 and 1000 and its multiples the same rules apply the same rules apply it's going to come as mudaf and this is come mudaf ilayhi so likewise here this is mudaf and this is mudaf ilayhi and we use the singular form we use the singular form so mudaf mudaf ilayhi and this is mudaf and this is mudaf ilayhi thalathu mi'ati talibin thalathu mi'ati talibatin and it remains the same so we're not going to say thalathatu because it's uh, it has to oppose no because remember the ma'dud for thalathu arba' is is the mi'a and because it's mu'annath this is going to be mudhakkar in all the cases so it's not we're not considering the ma'dud because we already have the ma'dud and the ma'dud is fixed it's mu'annath so the number has to be mudhakkar it's going to be fixed throughout so this is 300 to 900 let's read thalathu mi'ati talibin or thalathu mi'ati talibatin that's marfu if it was mansub you'd say ثلاثة ثلاثة مئة طالب إن ثلاثة مئة طالب رأيت ثلاثة مئة طالب بي ثلاثة مئة طالب سو خمس مئة طالب خمس مئة طالبة ست مئة طالب ست مئة طالبة سبع مئة طالب سبع مئة طالبة ثمان مئة طالب ثمان مئة طالبة تسع مئة طالب تسع مئة طالبة we spoke about alf. Alf is the same as mi'a. We're going to make a mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Alf is unisex. You can use it with both. And uh, mudaf ilayhi ma'dud is used in the singular form. Alfani, we said it's muthanna. When you make it mudaf, the noon is removed. Same, just like mi'a. Now, with the uh, multiples of the alf, here, we said we write it together. With the mi'as, we write them together. The hundreds, we write them together. But this... It's it, it's written yani, separately. The rules of thalatha to ten, the individual numbers three to ten, we apply those rules. So alf is singular. The plural is alaf. When you're counting, alf is mudakkar. Alf is mudakkar. So the numbers have to be muannath. So we're going to say thalatha to. Thalatha to alafin. So it gives us mudaf mudaf ilayhi this is mudhakkar it opposes and this is the plural form this is how this was supposed to be it's supposed to change in its plural form but it didn't there was two exceptions this remains singular and it's written together but those two exceptions they don't apply here this is just like any other thing that you're counting thalatha to kutubin thalathu thalatha to aqlamin and so on so this there's no exceptions here it's pluralized and it's written separately 
So we have ثلاثة آلاف Once again it's مضاف مضاف إليه If we didn't mention it it would just be ثلاثة آلاف But because we've mentioned the معدود It has to apply the rules have to apply So from uh, 1000 and it's 100 and it's multiples and 1000 it's multiples We have to apply the rules of making it mudaf ilayhi and using the singular form. So, thalatha tu alafi talibin. Thalatha tu alafi talibatin. Arba'a tu alafi talibin. Khamsa tu alafi. He's reading it this way. Khamsa tu alafi. Sitta tu alafi. Why is it sitta tu not sittu? It's always going to be fixed on thalatha tu arba'a tu sittu. Because this is the ma'dud. Alaf is the ma'dud. Alaf is not going to be changed. It's going to be fixed. We're saying 3,000. It's always going to be 1,000 there. This is mudhakkar. So this has to be mu'annath. Whereas with this one, this is mu'annath. So this has to be mudhakkar without the tamarbuta. This one has tamarbuta because we're counting alf, which is mudhakkar. Yeah? Tis'atu alafi talibin. Asharatu alafi talibin. Tayyib. No. Why is the fatha? Because we count something which is mudhakkar. The sheen, the fatha. It is going to be the sheen is going to be maftuh with the fatha if it's mudakkar. Sukun if it's mu'annath. We didn't have a hundred, ten hundred, did we? No. Tayyib. Aishuruna. Now we come to twenty. We're counting twenties, right? We, we got to ten thousand. Ten thousand. If it was eleven thousand, it would have been eleven would have matched. It would have been ahad ashara alfa. أحد عشر ألف طالب إثنى عشر إثنى عشر ألف طالب. so here the ألف has changed to the plural form because we're counting it as though it's the معدود for ثلاثة to ten and here it's changed to the تمييز form because it's now a uh, the ma'dud for something from 11 to 99 from 11 to 99 is going to be in the mansub form mansub form but at the same time it's going to be mudaf and then the thing that's coming after it we apply its own rules mudaf mudaf ilayhi mudaf mudaf ilayhi tayyib okay let's 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 look at this number now let's look at this number here this is in english 6543 how do we read this in arabic we have two options Let's do according to what the author has taught us. Okay, the author now, look here now. He's doing it this way. Uh, this is the way that I was saying is easier, to read it this way. Whereas these other ones, he was reading it this way. He was reading it this this way. This is the way it's easier, to read it for three, four, five, six, like that. So, with the three, it's always going to oppose the thing you're counting. From three to nine, it's always going to oppose the thing you're counting in gender. What are we counting? Real. We're counting real. So, this is going to be Mu'annath. Thalathatun. We're assuming that it's marfu'. Thalathatun. And then 40. How do you say 40? Arba'oon. Why arba'oon or arba'in? Because it's ma'tuf to something which is marfu'. Thalathatun. Wa arba'oon. Wa khamsu. Always going to be khamsu, not khamsatu. Because mi'a is the ma'dud. Wa khamsu mi'atin. And it's always going to be written together. Wa khamsu mi'atin. وَسِتَّةُ آلَافٍ If it was no, there was no ma'adud, سِتَّةُ آلَافٍ But because we're mentioning this, we're going to be آلَافِ رِيَالٍ مُضَافِ مُضَافِ لِي وَسِتَّةُ آلَافِ رِيَالٍ And if it was rubiya, we just change the thalath, everything else remains the same. ثَلَاثٌ وَأَرْبَعُونَ وَخَمْسُ مِئَةٍ وَسِتَّةُ آلَافِ رُبِيَّةٍ Why do we say rubiyyatan? Because it has to be the ma'dud for alf. What's the rule for alf? Alf, mudaf, mudaf ilayhi, and you have to use the singular form. If three came here, what if we did it the other way around? What if we read it this other way around? How would it be? Let's try. Six, five, four, three. So we've read it this way, which is the way I, I, I think is easier for a beginner student. But we're going to read this this way. If we read it this way, we're going to start with the 6. How are we going to read the 6? We're going to say, this is what? 6,000, right? 6,000. How do we read 6,000? We say, sittatu or sittu. We're counting alf. Alf is mudhakkar. We we say sittatu, right? So, we say sittatu alafin. We're not going to say alafin just yet. Because we have to say, wa khamsumia. Okay, so we can say, 
alafin. We can say alafin because we're going to use apf. Whenever you use apf, there's no idafa, we can bring the tanween. So sitta to alafin. Why did we say sitta to? Because we're counting thousands. Thousands is in a plural form because from three to ten, the rule was that you make it mudaf mudafili and you pluralize the ma'dud. So this is the ma'dud. It's counting as, and it's counted as the ma'dud. Sitta to alafin. Wa. What are we counting? Are we counting? Okay, let's count uh, cars. Sayyara. Does this affect this? Is this? Do we look at this to determine the gender of this? No. Because this is counting this. Alfs, when you're counting alfs, it's always going to be mu'annath. It opposes this. This is the way we focus for this. But this is going to be needed for the thalatha that's at the end. The thalatha that's at the end is where we're going to need that. طيب. ستة آلاف وخمسمائة. Why خمسو? Because it's معطوف to something which is مرفوع. يعني we're assuming that this comes in a word and this number is مرفوع. This is going to play the role in the sentence مرفوع. If it was منصوب it would have been ستة آلاف وخمسة. معطوف to this خمسة. If it was ستة آلاف وخمسة. The rules for numbers in the Arabic language, they need a lot of practice. That's why I said this this lesson is going to be very challenging. Sitta to alafin wa khamsu written together. Mi'atin. It's supposed to be mi'atin. Mi'atin. Yeah, we're going to say mi'atin because there's no idafa. If there's no idafa, wow comes after it. We don't need to take away the tanween. We can keep the tanween. So, wa khamsu mi'atin. Why didn't we say wa khamsatu? Why didn't we say wa khamsatu? We didn't say wa khamsatu because we're counting mi'a. Mi'a is our ma'dud. It's mu'annath, so we make this mudhakkar. So sitta to alafin wa khamsu mi'atin. We've done 6,500 and 43. With 43, we can do it the way we have learnt. By mentioning the three first and then 40 next. Or we can continue like this and say wa arba'una. Marfu also, we didn't say Arba'ina because it's ma'atuf to this. Wa Arba'una. Wa. Now is where we need to consider the gender now. So this is Mu'annath. This is going to be Mudhakkar. Wa Thalathu. Because it's all ma'atuf to the first one. Wa Thalathu. Now Sayyara. If we, we, we applied the rules of three. When you're counting things from three to ten, what happens? It, this thing you're counting, it comes in Mudhaf Mudhaf Ilay in the plural form. وَثَلَاثُ سَيَّارَاتٍ So reading it this way we'd say سِتَّةُ آلَافٍ وَخَمْسُ مِئَةٍ وَأَرْبَعُونَ وَثَلَاثُ سَيَّارَاتٍ سِتَّةُ آلَافٍ Six thousand وَخَمْسُ مِئَةٍ Five hundred وَأَرْبَعُونَ Forty وَثَلَاثُ سَيَّارَاتٍ And three وَأَرْبَعُونَ وَثَلَاثُ سَيَّارَاتٍ And it's possible to Mention Thalath first and then Arba'un. If we did that, it would have been Sitta to Alafin wa Khamsu Miatin wa Thalathu wa Thalathu wa Thalathun. We'd mention wa Thalathun because there's no idafa. We're going to bring wow after it. Wa Thalathun wa Arba'una. If Arba'una came here, this would change to the Ma'dud of Arba'un, which would be Nakira Mufrad Mansub. It would be وَثَلَاثٌ وَأَرْبَعُونَ سَيَّارَةً This lesson requires a lot of revision. Let's try and finish it, inshallah. So, أَحْوَالُ الْعَدَدْ This is the easy part, inshallah. أَحْوَال is the plural of حَال. حَال, condition. Conditions of the عَدَدْ. Condition of the عَدَدْ. Okay. This is a summary. الْعَدَدَان Which is the first section that we covered. The two numbers, عَدَدَان, the two numbers, واحد أثنان, على وفق المعدود. They وفق, agree. They agree with the معدود in gender. So this is a summary. The numbers 1 and 2, they ala wafq al mahdud they agree with the thing you're counting in gender. Al-a'dad min thalathatin ila ashara, as for the numbers, a'dad, numbers from 3 to 10, ala aks, they oppose. Aks is the opposite of the ma'dud. So 3 to 10 oppose in gender. As for al-a'dadani, ahad ashara wa thna ashara, 11 and 12 specifically, الجزآن على وفق المعدود. Then both parts, جزء a part, جزآن both parts. So both parts are agreeing in agreement with the معدود. وفق 
in agreement. Ax opposite. So 11 and 12 both parts agree. As for al adad min thalatha ta ashara ila tis ata ashara, from 13 to 19, then he says al juz al awal, the units, the units, al ax oppose al ma'dud of the thing we are counting. Wal juz al thani, the tens, al thani, the second part, ala wafqihi, is going to match, is going to agree. So that's the rules for the adad. The rules for the adad, for all of them, he summarized that there. Ahwal al ma'dud now. This is the conditions of the ma'dud, the thing that's been counted. From min thalatha ila ashara, tullabin, jam majroor. We say tullabin, okay. From three to ten, the ma'dud comes as the plural form and it comes as majur. Why? Because it's going to be mudaf ilayhi to the number. Min ahada ashara ila tis'in wa tis'ina taliban. It's going to come as mufrad mansub. The ma'dud from 11 to 99, it comes as Taliban. That's an example. Why Taliban? Because it comes as Mufrad, Mansub. Mufrad, Nakira, Mansub. Taib. 100 and 1000, it comes as Talibin. Talibin, which is Mufrad, Majroor. Same as this, it comes as Mudaf Ilayhi, but the, the, the difference is that the, the, the Ma'dud here comes as Jam, it comes as Mufrad here. Talibin, not Tullabin. I hope that we have understood i hope that we've understood as a homework i'm going to give you homework inshallah write these numbers down see if we can try and uh, figure out how to write these numbers down i'm going to give you the numerical numbers we're going to make it easy for ourselves we're just going to do reading it from uh, right to left so the first number is remember we write the numbers from left to right Re reading you have options so one three one two three four five one two three four five the next number is uh six seven eight eight the next number is five five zero six five one let's see if you can do that these are the homework one two Three. Okay. Um, the ma'dud now. We're gonna count. Sayyaratan. Sayyara, and um, kitab. For all of them. So we should have a total of six. Each one for the mu'annath and each one for the mudakkar. Tayyib. Barakallahu feekum. Subhanakallahu bihamdik. Shadu Allah ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka atubu ilaik.